Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching another video of mine. Um, this is the part six of uh, technical drawing multiple choice questions, and let's get into it. So this question asks the diagram above illustrates, and this has to do with ellipse illustrates the proper method of constructing an ellipse with trammel, that's A, B, constructing the hyperbola as a conic section, C, finding the foci, the normal and the tangent of an ellipse, or D, finding the focus of a parabola. So right there and then, you can see C, because um, it's actually labeling um, the different points. So you have the foci, you have the tangent and you have the normal to the tangent, okay? So that's C. Um, which of the following diagrams illustrates how to bisect the straight line? And the answer would be A, because you need um, your um, compass on both sides of the horizontal line to strike your axe above and below that horizontal line, okay? Using the orthographic projection for the diagram above, with view G as the front, the end view H will be. So, if you're if you're using um the G as the front, right? So G is the front here. Um, H, the end view, will be um this object right here. Okay. So as you can see, this is the shape right here. You have the front, which is G, and it should be the end. Um, the view for the front would be uh, B, but the answer that we are asking for, which is H, would be A, okay? All right, um, in order to construct a tangent from the point P to the circle in the diagram above, so the point P is right here, and you, you wanna draw um, a tangent from point P to the circle. So it either would end up up here or down here. Because remember, a tangent is a line barely um, touching or just touching the circumference of the circle, okay? Um, the first thing that you must do is to draw a line, basically. So you wanna draw a line from um, the point, which is the center here, to the point P, okay? So the answer would be C, okay? Join P to the center. When you say join, they mean draw a line. Okay. Um, which of the following diagrams represents the construction of a tangent to the circle at a point on the circumference? And the answer would be A, because as you can see, there's a tangent right here. And um, these are also tangent, but um, they say A tangent to the circle. So here you have. Um, the center line to the circumference and then they found 90 degrees to draw the um, the tangent to the line. So the answer is A, okay? All right, um, what is the value of angle P in the diagram above? So P is right here. So remember when we have a complete, well, a half revolution, um, a complete revolution is 360 degrees. So you're going half, which is like your protractor, and your protractor goes from 0 to 180. So all these angles here has to add up to, have to add up to 180, okay? So if you add 90 to 60, you will get 150, and then the remainder, which is P, would be 30 to make the 180, okay? All right, so the answer would be A. Okay, so in the diagram above, the ratio of the area EFGH, so EFGH, the ratio of the area of this area diamond here um, to EGIJ, which is EGIJ, so the, the diamond or the kite to the, um, the square would be what ratio, okay? So right there and then, you see the smallest sections that are cut up into triangles. So how many triangles do you have? One, two for the diamond, and how many triangles do you have for the square? One, this is one right here. Two, let's pretend you have one here, 
that will make three down here and then you have four so you have two for this one and you have four for the square okay so there's no option of two to four so what you have to do is reduce it to the lowest um, possible ratio and two to four would be equal to half okay so it's similar to fractions so if you have two over four and you want to bring it down to the smallest it would be a half right one over two so the ratio would be one to two okay which is simple. all right um the development shown above and pretend this is a flat piece of paper um and you have um bends the hidden lines shows where the paper will bend okay and these two ends will come together okay so this is the, the development and the development shown above represents that of a and it would be a polygon okay because a polygon has um different sides but how many sides does this have it has one two three four five six and that is a hexagon okay and the bottom is flat and the top is flat so it cannot be a pyramid remember a pyramid um it starts broad at the bottom and then comes into a point at the top so it cannot be a pyramid so the answer would have to be a hexagonal prism okay hexagonal prism All right which of the following procedures is used when constructing the circumscribed circle of a triangle okay so circumscribed circle of a triangle is a circle going around a triangle any triangle okay and one of the first things that you have to do when constructing a circle around a triangle is to find um, the center of the circle and to find the center of the circle you have to bisect two um cards or two um sides of the the drawing itself okay so the answer would be draw any two cards okay All right and then item number 38 here um in the diagram above if ot is 75 and radius op is 45 what is the length of the tangent tp okay and if you look at the drawing here you see you have a triangle and then you have um a perpendicular line right here which is um p so you want to use pythagoras theorem and in order to do that you will use cosine remember you have um a hypotenuse which is the longest side you have the adjacent and you have the um the opposite okay however um since we want to use this angle this angle is known we're gonna use the cosine of um actually we're gonna use the square root okay so what you want to do is let's say you have a which would be this side plus b which would be this side equals c which would be this side all squared so you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared you guys remember that so if you have a squared plus um 45 let's say this is a squared okay and you have b squared that would be equal to c squared okay so let's say b squared is 45 squared and ot which is c squared is 75 squared if you if you calculate that in your calculator you would get um for the 75 you would get um 5625 and for the 45 squared you would get 2225 what you want to do is subtract this line from this line and you would get um 3600 what you do with the answer would be um square root that answer and you would get the length of um pt okay or tp and that would be 60 okay all right all right that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye